very aggressive to make sure that happens. Um, and then after we do our morning uh, checks of everything, we do housework. Did you know that my mother nor my wife come here to clean up house? <laughs> we are assigned um, um, housework, so depending on your seniority is what God says. Just say it. you're sick, so I can hear the thing you're saying. You, somebody can lock you right here to God. stops and be in the community and see other parts of Michigan and uh, what the Flint Fire Department has here is pretty special and uh, you know made us feel at home and it uh, you know it was, a, it was a great group of guys and, and girls and women and, uh, it, was, it was a cool, cool experience to see the whole facility and see the truck and, and play street hockey with the guys. A lot of kids grow up wishing to be professional athletes or firefighters or police officers. What, it's like, what is it like to be able to put on that different uniform today? Well, it's pretty cool. I mean, I think uh, you know, when I was a kid, I, I loved policemen and firemen, and I would say that these guys are heroes as well, and heroes in the community. And uh, it's, uh, it's something that you know, living in a community, you're always going to need policemen and firefighters. And uh, these guys put their lives on the line and and, and uh, you know, sacrifice a lot for the better good of our community. So I uh, have a lot of respect for what they do. And, and great to come out here and, and enjoy the day with them. Telling you talk about what Rico's done for the youth hockey community up there? Yeah, what Rico's done is amazing. Uh, I think uh, for, for him to, to spend his time, he was saying that you know those shifts are 24 hours long and uh, they're doing that three or four times a week and, and for what he does uh, with the rink and with the community, you know, non-profit, it, it, it's it's just because he loves hockey, and you can just see it in his in his tone of voice when he when he talks about hockey, when he talks about you know uh, being a firefighter. He's, he's very proud, and he should be very proud of what he's accomplished here in Flint and to get kids to, to play hockey. And, and you know, I, I talked to him a little bit about his story, and that sometimes the numbers are tough, and, and sometimes they're great. And you know, it's for him to for him to do what he does, and have so much passion for hockey and for kids. It's a, it's truly amazing. It's yeah, I mean it's big for for the Red Wings and, and uh, you know for the Michigan uh, community and um, you know we did it last year you with know, the other fire fire station and to come here and meet all these firefighters and you know they risk their lives every day for us and it's, uh, it's nice to meet them. Every, everything you play street hockey in a fire station? No, no, I'm sweating hard from that. Uh, not a lot of air comes in here. Presenting my check today uh, for the Flint Youth Hockey Program. Yeah, how cool is that to be? Yeah, you know it's awesome. Um, anything we can do as uh, you know as Red Wings and you know as our, as our team to you know help the communities around us and we do everything uh, you know every opportunity we can. And it's awesome. This has been such a big year, and I'm so honored that the Detroit Red Wings recognize that for them a hometown 
guy gets an opportunity to win such a prestigious award representing uh, the Flint community that they contacted me to come here specifically. And so to get an opportunity to share with them what's my second home is, is just something I'll always cherish because you know when we here in Flint we feel isolated a lot of times and um, one of the things that we try to do is keep ourselves our heads up and so when it's an opportunity like this to share um, with people that are from outside Flint, all the good things, the good people of Flint, especially professional athletes, one of my favorite sport in the world. Um, today was an incredible day. It's been an incredible, incredible run. I keep saying the hits keep coming because that's how it keeps. It. I just feel I get speechless, you guys, and I don't normally get speechless. But um, to have them here and, and be able to interact with our firefighters, to share that opportunity with our firefighters, is really, really important to me. So that's why when we talked about where we wanted to do this, it was right here. Definitely. And you talked about that after the NHL awards. It's started getting a lot more attention about the mm -hmm. Flint Hockey Program. Mm -hmm. And now, here we are today, the hometown team coming up here and donating. Yeah, the donation of $5,000 is something I didn't expect, I didn't look for. That's just a bonus. And what that means for our program is it's given us a leg up. And show. So many things we want to improve in our program. Uh, whether it be our marketing or uh, just making sure that everything stays stable. They just gave us a huge, huge, huge gift and I'm so, so thankful. It's going gonna, it's gonna to go a long way to make sure that our program lasts for, for a long, long time. You got some gear too? Yeah, um, well the, the street hockey gear actually stays here at the fire station. This is our stuff, believe it or not. So we'll see how many guys pick it up. I've seen a couple guys I've never seen play before today. I think that got them hooked already. He once scored a goal. <laughs> so it's good, good. What was that experience like for, for the guys? You know, I just saw the smiles out there. Being able to play with them, you know, here as well. So. Yeah, you know, I think the guys, it's hard to describe um, the looks on their faces. You know, like you could sense this uh, little kid in a lot of them. Uh, the feeling like, I can't believe I'm actually meeting the guy that I watch on TV every week. And I felt the same way. I, I was seemingly real relaxed about the situation, but I, I won't tell you that I wasn't a bit starstruck at first, you know. But they're so down to earth. I mean, most professional athletes are, but to me, hockey players are one of the most down to earth groups of people that you will ever meet. So to them, it wasn't just doing their service. To them, I could tell they were really into it. They were asking specific questions about stuff. They weren't just going through the motions. And they generally had a good time, as you could tell. What did they want to learn about? What did they ask you? What did you get to Well, they wanted to know then? a little bit about how the poles work, <laughs> the brass poles. But they were asking me about um, when they were up on the ladder, does it bend and bow? Did we go up 104? Um, and they were asking, as you see, they were inside the fire truck. They wanted to know a lot about how think the bells and whistles work, which they found out how the whistles work. <laughs> But um, again, I, I could tell they were generally interested in what they were doing today.